Good afternoon guys and happy uh, Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. I've got a Tony's and Caputo's haul for you guys today. It was a little bit, a little bit more pricey than normal. I think I said it would probably be under 35 bucks at Tony's and under 20 bucks at Caputo's. But between both stores, I think it was under $50 in total. Um, it was like 33, I think at Tony's and 15 at, um, Caputo's so I'll share with you guys what was going on but they did have a deal my mom is completely out of diet coke and she can't really function without diet coke so we had to get some um and they have not had a sale really well the thing is they've had this sale similar sale at Jewel a couple times but I still think that it's ridiculously expensive because they are they were on sale for $4.99 five dollars for a 12 pack I think is crazy like I remember paying like $2.49 at most like $2.99 um then the prices started going up and going up and going up and now I mean the price for 12 packs are like I cannot get anything cheaper than five dollars actually I think the very last deal that I got most recently was at um uh, Meyer, they had a 24 pack that I think was like nine dollars or like 8.99 something like that So it was like getting two 12 packs for basically like 450 each and I was like I guess that's the best we're gonna get but I've been holding out hoping that like again too Oh, maybe for this like holiday or whatever We'll get a better deal because during the holidays We tend to see better deals on like soft drinks and you know like more for parties and like that kind of thing You'll a lot of times see that kind of sale have not seen anything like at all since probably honestly maybe the best deal we got was like before or around Thanksgiving um, but yeah we've kind of held out since then with what we already had and what I kind of stocked up in so again too we got another couple 12 packs but it's a little expensive because it cost $15 just for those three that we ended up picking up because we don't have you know like I said we're out and we needed to get some and on top of that too, that's a considerably better price because I know at Walmart I did check the price. Their 12 packs are seven, like seven fifty or seven over seven twenty-five. I know for sure. So this is still a, a little bit of a better deal, a little bit of savings. It's funny though too because I've even seen this sale at like Walgreens has had this sale like two or it's like four ninety-nine. And I used to think that like Walgreens price on their soft drinks, like 12 packs and stuff like that, they used to be pretty expensive. Um, and and again too every once in a while they might have like a good sale but I hadn't seen anything but Walgreens price a lot of times were not very good and they would have the sale like all the time like you know like years ago they'd be like oh it's like $4.99 or maybe $3.99 something like that and I was like okay compared to a different grocery store that has them on sale for like $2.50 that's kind of a you know kind of expensive but they've still like got theirs for $4.99 and then the cheapest I've seen any other grocery stores have them on sale for is the same price so um yeah whereas I used to think like Walgreens price on their soft drinks weren't really that great but now it's kind of competitive with what everybody else has got their prices for as far as like sales go and things like that but Easter next week well actually no because I think this is the week of sales for East no next week would be so maybe maybe we might see a sale on 12 packs next week for Easter um, I'm not really holding my breath but um, we've seen decent sales on um, like the two liters like we've gotten those for like 99 cents or so so we've been kind of compensating and like any other soft drinks that we drink we'll get them in the two, the like two liters it's so like mainly we've seen the dr pepper and seven up but funny enough Tony's actually had on sale this week so we ended up getting that and then um you know so that's more like Jack will drink that or my dad or sometimes I will I'm not funny enough I'm not really been a big like soda or pop drinker recently i've been drinking more of those like either arnold palmer's like that kind of stuff more recently um which are still kind of expensive but i've made and it's to find deals on like that kind of stuff versus i haven't on like i said like 12 packs like coke especially too normally pepsi is a little bit cheaper than coke products but i've actually seen like i said surprisingly today at tony's they did have a sale on the coke so i was like i'm gonna just take advantage because we're out anyway we have to get it so anyways let me share with you guys what they did have though at tony's and caputo's for today so right here was everything we ended up picking up from tony's and i told you guys too how it's really weird now their receipts don't tell 
tell you how much you saved but we did end up spending it looks like because again to the like way it's written it's super super weird now like if you guys can see on there like it tells you the balance this is after just like the sales stuff but then the digital coupons take off after that and it doesn't tell you like afterwards what the cost is so this is actually so it was ten dollars worth of coupons so it was actually 40 or 33 49 because you can see my dad paid with 40 dollars cash instead so the like you know the difference of it is it doesn't tell you what it is after the coupons come off and like what the total should be after that it's really weird so um anyways like i said we had ten dollars worth of coupon savings then we also had um it was 12.50 worth of savings on just the two liters and 15 dollars worth of savings on the um the the 12 packs so again too in total i don't even know what that would be completely over 30 close to 40 dollars in savings which is really good because again too we spent you know spent under that but even to like the retail cost of the items it doesn't figure in so like for example the uh fries those are 3.99 but then there's a two dollar coupon that comes off so it makes them 1.99 now these might retail though at normally like 5.99 or something like that at the store but just the sale was 3.99 then the coupon took off if that makes sense like in reality too again the price might end up being you know more money than what the difference is in the sale and then the retail cost versus sale versus coupon so it doesn't tell you that because there's not just like you saved fifty dollars today or whatever um on the receipts so anyways it's a little weird but um they did have two coupon deals then they had two sales that were like when you bought the amount which was all of the pop products and then they also had the um ham that was on sale those were really only the best deals that i kind of saw they did have a couple other things but i don't really think they were all that worth it now they had the two pound packages of strawberries which were on sale for um $1.99 uh with the digital coupon and they were a limit of two so we ended up getting four pounds of strawberries in total for under four dollars or just a little under four dollars um by about two cents <laughs> but it was still a really good deal because we've seen these on sale for like $1.99 for a one pound package um and sometimes we've seen them on sale for 99 cents recently but again too I thought that that was just a really good price so we went ahead and picked those up also to the McCain um fries which I've been doing a lot of chili cheese fries recently um i use like a can of like vegetarian chili either they have like the hormel brand or the amy's organic um like chili and then just make like chili cheese fries with it it's one of my favorite things i loved it before when i used to eat meat and then i was so happy when i was like i can still have this with you know fake meat um but i really like those and i like doing them with currently i actually have a package of these that i've been using of the mccain quick cook fries um that i'm almost out of i have probably one more use <laughs> out of um so that was a really good time to go ahead and pick these up because they're only $1.99 with that coupon like I was telling you guys to $3.99 with the $2 coupon makes it $1.99 those were a limit of two with the digital coupon then also too like I was saying with the diet coke or coke products in general um the 12 packs those were on sale for $5.99 or $4.99 but you do have to buy three in order to get them at that price so it's going to be about $15 but like I said I have not seen any sales at all recently and again to probably the last three to four maybe five close to maybe six months almost that I've seen them cheaper than that on sale um because if I have I've bought them and like I said I don't know that I've seen a better sale than that price anyway even to like I said like for Christmas and stuff like that I remember being like I haven't seen really any of these sales um like in the weeks leading up to Christmas or even to like right before or after or like even um like New Year's sales and stuff like that although we weren't really doing a lot of shopping during like those three weeks between Christmas and like New Year's um so I don't necessarily know but I remember not really seeing a whole lot of those kind of sales either at that time um, but like I said that was the best deal that I was really able to get and since we're out we ended up picking it up then they also had the two liters that were on sale for 99 cents um, a, they were when you bought five so you do have to buy five in order to get them at that price but you don't have to clip a coupon you just have to make sure that you buy five of those participating seven up Dr. Pepper two liters and you'll get them for 99 cents along with the diet cokes or you know like I said coke 12 packs they just need to be um you just have to buy three in order to get them at that price and then lastly they also had the um polish ham which is on sale for 4.99 a pound got about um three fourths pound for 3.59 so that was everything from um tony's let me share with you guys caputo's right here this is everything that my dad ended up picking up at caputo's and had about a 50 percent savings so the total was 15.25 after tax and saved 12 dollars and 60 cents in like temporary markdowns 
things which i've explained to you guys before a lot of times like the retail price of like produce items or like meats deli meats and stuff like that fluctuate more with the season so like again too the prices will rise when they're out of season lower when they're in season but then on top of that they'll have sales so like something that might retail at a higher price out of season they don't always like tell you that like it normally would probably be more expensive um but anyways like i said they did end up having some good deals on these items so i'll share them with you guys um they had the organic um grape tomatoes um those were on sale for two dollars each we picked up two packages they also had the cantaloupe was on sale for 79 cents that's a really good price just 79 cents not per pound it was just per cantaloupe that was a really good price they also had on the um tomatoes it was on sale for 89 cents um it was a little over a pound so it was actually a dollar even for that they also had the little mini cucumbers those were on sale for 99 cents a pound um, my dad got about a half pound for 53 cents and they also had spinach one bunch was 99 cents the guinea pigs love this so we went ahead and picked that up then also too their deli meats and cheeses they had on sale I didn't even realize too we were actually out of American cheese so went ahead and picked this up it was 349 a pound which made it uh, 415 for the poundage that my dad ended up picking up and then the Butterball turkey, um, oven roasted turkey breast was uh, four ninety nine. It was about three fourths pound for three fifty two. So um, again, too, they had a couple deals on um, meats and cheeses, but they did have over at Tony's. They had their cheese on sale for four ninety nine a pound. It was the same as the Polish ham, but um, they had it on sale. The Caputo's they had theirs on sale a little bit cheaper, which is a pretty good price because like at Aldi you can get like the um, the half pound packages are normally like two dollars or so. so the fact that you can actually get that under two dollars per half pound is a pretty good price like for the cheese sometimes it'll be 250 to two dollars sometimes even 2.99 kind of depends as well um lately again too with prices depends <laughs> but um like i said i thought that was a pretty good price for those meats and cheeses plus a bunch of produce over here and a couple other just little sale things like i said too they had at tony's but um anyways that was everything that was going on and we're doing pizzas i think for dinner tonight because i plan on getting pizza at um jewel tomorrow plus i have to have somewhere to put these fries so it was a little bit different than my meal plan was for today but um like i said that changed because we need room in the freezer and we've got frozen pizzas out there so that's what we're gonna do also too i don't know how well you guys can tell but it's actually been snowing out today you guys can see on the um the the kitchen window it's kind of raining actually right now but i don't know if you guys can tell like right here this is like all kind of clustered up snow and ice sort of and then i don't know if you guys can see too like out in the grass out there there's also snow oh so, um yeah it's <laughs> we've got crazy weather then it's supposed to be like nice next week where it's going to be like 50s and so you know i think so me and jack plan on going walking again next week but again too like this week it's freezing cold snowing one day we were only able to go walking on tuesday when it was a little bit warmer but so windy um like it was like 40 something i think on tuesday and, and the rest of this week has only been like a high of like 38 and 39 kind of so anyways um has not been the nicest weather right now but um yeah we got snow that's just kind of the craziness it goes from being like 80 degrees a week or two weeks or three weeks ago whatever it was now it's snowing again and then it'll probably warm up like i said next week but anyways um yeah gonna get this stuff taken care of well guys i'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed but um i finished up my grocery list for tomorrow um so we can go to aldi and to jewel and then i also ended up getting a bunch of those photos from my aunt that i'm still working on it's like slowly but surely um i've gotten uh, i got a lot more of those done actually like there's still some I have everything for the most part kind of organized like in how I have it set up but I do have some loose photos that I'm not entirely sure of um but then I had all of the vacation photos and those ones are a little bit more difficult to organize because you know there's a lot of pictures of just it's not like oh like you know at the beach and you know hiking like that kind of stuff there's a lot of those photos photos and it's not that difficult to kind of place some of them being like okay my aunt and uncle looked very young in this photo or you know they were like kids or whatever and so that was a little bit easier to like identify a lot of them also too are like they have on the back like my aunt wrote on them you know like what year and stuff like that surprisingly so there was like a lot of ones that I was expecting to be like this is going to be really difficult and I'm not going to be able to place a lot of these too it actually looks like it might not be that difficult but there are a lot that don't have dates on them 
and the more difficult part is is that a lot of them are just like scenery photos and you can't date those very accurately to me being like okay well this is probably maybe in like the 70s or the 80s or something like that um also too maybe based on what people are wearing you know i can maybe gauge the time a little bit better when it's just like scenery photos i am not i can't place those together um and also to place them like in groups because some of them were not not all of them had um like you know like they were loose photos so there would be like loose photos of you know again to like a vacation or something like that and I'm trying to piece them together figure out like which photos go together and like that kind of thing and um my aunt and uncle they traveled a lot and you know again to my their kids my other aunt and uncle I guess even though they're technically like my second cousins once removed or I don't know however you call that <laughs> I have no clue I'm so into genealogy but I do not know like the second cousins and like what all those people are I call them my aunt and uncle my mom was very very close to them almost like siblings and so they're just my aunt and uncle um but her kids but now I've lost my my <laughs> topic of conversation and where everything else ended up going so um but like I was saying it's just it's not as easy to date photos that don't have them you know like people in them where I can be like oh again too this was you know them when they were little or old or you know something like that or you know again whatever it might be it's a little bit more difficult when it's just mainly scenery photos and things like that and I don't know exactly when those would be but um like I said I thought it was gonna be like all of them weren't gonna have dates on them and I was gonna have to try and place all of them most of them do or they were already like in envelopes so I've just been kind of like putting those in the new envelopes and like matching any photos up that might have been like gotten mixed in with like the the decade photos that I did because that was kind of how I have everything sort of organized but then I went from there and now it's again too if it was like oh trip to you know the lake or whatever I would take those photos now and put them in with the other other ones that were like from that vacation because a lot of times that they're a pretty big stack of photos for you know like it's more specific um and so again too if there was like those events like again too if it was like weddings or you know that kind of stuff and so that's why I would take those photos and like match them up with the the vacation photos and then make a separate envelope for those but for the most part if it was like oh like you know again too like 73 and there were photos from like the lake of 73 and there's like a lot of photos in there then I made them their own envelope just because they take up a lot of space and if it's like one specific event that has a lot of stuff I'm making them kind of their own like envelope but I'm trying to keep them still with that decade that they would have been from so um like I said overall it's actually not quite as difficult as I kind of thought it was gonna be um you know I thought it was gonna have to be a lot more matching up you know and and the same thing too I think what I was gonna say earlier I can't remember now but um you know it's easier too to place like photos when you can be like oh they were all wearing the same like you know again too there's four people that you can identify and they're all wearing the same clothes in like three different photos then you can be like okay this is all from like the same event or the same day or you know this must have been a party or whatever it's not that difficult in using that that's one of my methods to matching up all the photos but um it's difficult like I was saying too when it's like scenery photos to try and match those up so I got a lot of that done and that's kind of the last big chunk of photos then it's just all the little individual ones that I don't know where they belong right now um and so then again too after that I'm mainly done with the photos <laughs> so um my last like I said big chunk is just these vacation photos and once that's done then I need to go through and kind of match up wherever the loose photos are or if I can't place them very accurately I can kind of just do like oh probably around the 70s or around the 80s or whatever and then just kind of leave it at that because I don't know how to go much more in depth if I can't place those photos exactly so either way I'm gonna take a shower and get to bed I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog though if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give the gold thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see you all very some shiny faces tomorrow so bye guys